today we're going to use some techniques that we used in the last video the leaves to make a pretty botanical painting just remember the oval brush you start making that line Sorry for the interruption. Back to what we're doing. Making botanical using the techniques that we used from the last video. And leaves. You hear that noise in the background? That's my golden doodle, Brady Thomas. That was the oval brush. Now we're going to use a long round brush. Grab different colors. In this botanical, I'm using greens and browns. So you see, I'm just making a bunch of leaves with stems, crisscrossing them. Various tones, values, colorations. You don't want to keep it all the same tone, value, and coloration because it would be boring and it won't have the depth that you're looking for. So there's a bunch of different tones of green, variations of light to dark. Go up a little more stem here, stem, and then I can start to add some color to it. Make this color with an orange coral. And this is just a simple flower. I mean, it's, you're just brushing down from top to bottom, top to bottom. Change the tones and the color. Let's put a little yellow in here. See, these don't have to look like perfect blooms. I just randomly stick them around. Again, to keep changing up the colors. Got some bright pink now. Right now I'm not allowed to <laughs> make longer videos than 15 minutes, so these paintings are gonna have to be short until I can get verified to do that on YouTube. Keep adding some more stems to this one. Crisscross here. get the idea so you just keep adding layering stems the blue is a little too bright I don't know how many blooms are like that in nature I mean you could keep it that way if you wanted a botanical that wasn't truly nature inspired in colors 
You can do whatever you want. That's why I tell people there's no right or wrong. There's just what you feel like doing. Let's add some purples. And this is just so simple. Anybody could do this. You're crisscrossing your lines. You're adding leaves. See? Even with this long brush, just add the leaves. You kind of want some of the stems to dry before you keep crisscrossing because see some of these are bleeding, which is fine, but if you want it to look a little more professional and more serious, you'd wait a little bit. And see that the color got really muted, so I would go back over it if I wanted it darker, give it some more contrast. You can go back over on wall color. On another video, I will show how you can add and take away. It is a medium you have to work quickly with, unfortunately. But sometimes that's the beauty part of it. I see this looking too flat. That's like a you want to add some tones to that so it's not so flat. And then it's <laughs> looks like a fake flower at that point if it's flat. And you get some contrasting tones. Put some over here in the yellow. Mixing up some more yellowish greens. Just want to play around. Doesn't have to be serious. And like I always say, practice makes perfect. See how there's many tones of greens browns, yellows. Just keep playing around. Add a little leaves. Add some contrasting color to it. This is a wet on wet technique where the color you put down was already wet and you're adding some more color to it. some purple. You can add whatever colors you like. Again, I want to go back into that purple. It's too flat. You want to add another value to make it stand out. I feel so guilty. My dog is sitting right next to me, waiting for me to be finished so I can play. And these stems feel like they need something. So I'll add something to them. Leaves. Just play around with color, variations of color. Do you achieve the desired result? You also want to balance the color. So if you have only pink hair and nowhere else, it's fine, but you want to like 
put some down here, or maybe over here, just a touch of it. Balance out the colors. Right now I only have the orange here, which is fine. I'm gonna keep it that way, but I'm gonna balance out some other colors. Oops, that was a water splat. Keep your paper towels close by. I always dab my brushes on the paper towels. I'll do another video about that. Right now I'm just doing thing on this botanical. I know Brady, you wanna go play. Okay, we're just about done here. Let me go add some orange down here. And really, I'm just like, it's like almost like making dots and connecting the dots. See, it's like a dot, but you connect the dot to make these little blooms. And then you want to add darker tones, the blooms, for the value. And maybe some darker leaves in there as well. See, this one seems a little too light. So I'll add some contrasting dark color in here just to bring it to life. And you see how simple that was? Practice makes perfect. Just keep practicing and you'll get there. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button in the corner so you know when there's a new video up. And that's all. Have a great day, everyone.